Where's my coffee mug? It was so important. You wouldn't know because I never used it before, but so important. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 18, season 14 of Supernatural. Admittedly, yes, I am late. It's because I wanted to do this edited. I was on the island. This episode was all about what everyone kind of already figured, that Jack killed Mary. And thank fuck, for the last three seasons, she has been nothing, nothing but an impediment. She has just been nothing but a drag. It seems that the show creators had no idea that this was a fact considering how much melodrama was in this. I will give the writer and director credit. Admittedly, their names were new to me. However, what they tried to do in a single episode was make up for the complete lacking use of Mary and her voidness of a character. What we have throughout the episode is everyone having their own manner of guilt. And we have different flashbacks with each character with Mary. And admittedly, these scenes aren't actually that bad. The interactions that Mary has with each character is pretty genuine. It's not forced or hammy like it was in the last episode, which was basically a giant sign, I'm going to fucking die, was printed on her head. These interactions were actual character developments. These were genuine moments. And this would have helped cemented the loss and the sorrow of the character if shit like this had happened for the last three seasons. The writing with her character in this episode is so vastly different, mainly that she's actually a fucking purpose. Possibly the only time she was maybe useful was when she was in the alternate universe helping those people. Aside from that, she was a waste of fucking time. And this episode tries to make up for that. Obviously, it's not going to happen when the pyre is set and everyone's standing around and there's this really sorrowful music playing. I couldn't give ten bucks of a shit. However, they try their fucking damnedest to make you care. As for the episode itself, it's basically just a retread of different storylines that we've seen before. A lot of it, obviously, being when Dean try to bring Sam back the first time. <laughs> Jack is feeling the sorrow and this guilt over having caused Mary's death and he's trying all these different manners. He's thinking ahead of the boys with Rowena to try and bring her back and somehow though with a person without a soul he's showing a lot of emotion. What we see is Jack going through the motions of trying to figure out and trying to amend what he did. Admittedly, he's hopping around the planet, though. I didn't really get what that was about. It's not the best performance by the actor, but it's definitely not the worst. The brothers do what they do. Admittedly, Dean does change his mood about Jack. At first, he's like, oh, he just killed a snake. And then he's like, he killed a snake. He's fucking soulless. Obviously, the biggest problem, again, is just the fact that all these moments are kind of cool and key to Mary. But the thing was, there was never any of this development throughout the show. The loss of her character is null and void. So many people in the comments have not given a shit about this character. One of the most hated characters in the entire show. And it's unfortunate because her catalyst, her death in the first place, was what made the show start. As for directing, you know, it's okay. I actually did like the dolly zoom at the beginning. It was a pretty cool little trick, but that's pretty much the most amount of creativity they put into filming. The last shot is definitely done with a drone. And it's a kind of a shaky drone shot as they rise up from looking at the prior. However, at one point, Castiel, who is once again pissed off Dean. I swear these guys just have a budding head relationship. It's so stupid by now. Castiel tries to walk over and comfort Dean. However, Sam just holds out his arm and does this to stop him. And just the flatness of the shot, it was funny to me. It was so funny. So while the episode is obviously going through retreads, talking about a character that no one gave a shit about, bringing up elements that would have been great to have about the character in the fucking first place, it does its best to make you care about a character you don't care about. So I'll definitely give the writer and director credit for doing something that admittedly was an impossible task. I would have not wanted to take on this episode. In the end, guys, I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 7. It's not a bad episode, but it's not a stellar episode, but it's been better than most of the ones that have come out this season. Anyways, that's all for me. I hope you liked this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh.
Well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.